Hi there and welcome to Penguin Learning. In this National 4 Maths lesson we will be looking at straight lines. After watching this lesson you will know what are straight line equations and how we can use equations to represent straight lines. You will know one way of plotting a straight line on an XY diagram. You will be familiar with the general equation of all straight lines. And finally you will know what is the gradient and what is the y intercept of a straight line when put in the form of this general equation. So let's get started. Ooh la la. So in our last lesson on coordinates we learned that if we want to plot a point on an xy diagram such as this point right here then we can use coordinates to represent this as the coordinate 2, 3. But let's say now we want to define how this line, this red line, is represented on an xy diagram. Well, we can't use a coordinate system for a line because a line is made up of lots and lots of points that form together to make the line. So we need something else other than coordinates to represent a line on an xy diagram. And the way that we do this is by using equations. And we use equations because, as we said, a line basically consists of lots and lots of points following along the same path. So if we can find a relationship between the x and the y points on this line, then equations can be used to have an equation of a particular line. And when we are talking about straight lines, and that is what this lesson is going to be focusing on, we can say that the relationship between the x and y points along the line are linear. And all linear means is that both the y and the x within an equation are not to any power apart from one. So for example, there's no x squared, there's no x cubed, there's no square roots. All it means is both the y and the x are not to any power apart from one. So for example, this is an equation here of a straight line and it simply just states that y is equal to x. And if the equation says that y equals x, all that means is if we want to go to the point along the x-axis of 1, 2 and 3 and we want to find out what these points are of these then that means that the respective y-coordinates are also going to be 1, 2 and 3 because the equation says that for any x point on the line it's the same as y so if we know, to, if we know an x point of 1 that means that y is also equal to 1 if x is 2, y is also equal to 2 and if x is 3, then y is also equal to 3. So that would mean that for this line, y equals x, we would have the points here, 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 3. So if we have the equation of the line, we can then get coordinates along the line if we know either the y point or the x point that we want to figure out. So this is just a few examples of what is a straight line and what would not be. So we notice for each of these ones here, the x is only to the power of 1 and it's not a square or square root value. So examples of straight lines would be y is equal to x, y is equal to 3x minus 4, and also y is equal to minus 2x plus 5. These are all straight lines. But examples that is not straight lines would be, for example, y is equal to x squared because we have the squared of the x. Also is not a straight line would be y is equal to the square root of x plus 1. And also y is equal to this thing here called the exponential of x. Again, just three examples that we don't have to worry about just now. And not, all we have to know is that they are not straight lines. That's because they all have a different power than 1, unlike these values here. So let's say now we want to plot the line of y is equal to 2x plus 1. In order to draw this line, what we can do is then pick values for x, put this into the equation, and then get the values for y. And then once we have the x and y coordinates, then we can plot the line on the graph. So I'll show you what I mean right now. So let's say we pick three random points for x as 0, 1, and 2, and we want to get the coordinates at each of these points for this line. But well, what we have to do is put each of these x values into the equation and then we'll get a value for y. So the first one that we have, if x is 0, then our equation becomes 2 times 0 plus 1 and 2 times 0 is just 0 then we add the plus 1 on so that means the y is 1. Now if the x is 1 we put into the equation 2 in the brackets 1 plus another 1 and we know 2 times 1 is 2 
and we add 1 on, that gives us 3. And then now finally, if x is 2, we have 2 in the brackets times 2, and then plus 1. So we know 2 times 2 and plus 1 gives us 5. So if we add a scale to our xy diagram, we can now plot each of these points that we've just calculated. So for the line, when x is 0, we know that y is equal to 1. So that means we have the coordinate 0, 1. So that would be drawn as here 0, that's the x, and then we move up 1 for the y. So we can draw the point in 0, 1. Next we have when x is 1, we know that y is 3. So if we go x is 1, y is 3, here we have the other point, 1, 3. And then finally, we know that if x is 2, y is equal to 5. So we move up 5 places on the y-axis, and there we have the point, 2, 5. So now that we have 3 points, we can now draw a line connecting them all together, just like this here, and that is how we plot the line of y is equal to 2x plus 1. So to go over it one more time, we can choose random values for x that we want to put into this equation. We can then calculate the y values for each of these x values and then that gives us coordinates for each one. And then finally we can plot the coordinates that we've calculated and then draw a line that connects them all together and that's how we can plot a straight line on an xy diagram. So let's have a look now at this line y is equal to x plus 2 and how we go about plotting it on this graph. So again we can begin by picking 3 random x points and I've just stuck with 0, 1 and 2. And now we want to find the y point for each of these x points. So for the first one, if x is 0, then y is equal to 0 plus 2. So that just means that y would be equal to 2. And for the second one, if x is 1, then y is equal to 1 plus 2. So that means now y is equal to 3. Sorry, it's a little bit messy here, but for the final one, we know that x is 2, so y is equal to 2 plus 2, so that then means that y is equal to 4. So we now have three coordinates on the line, so we have 0, 2, we have 1, 3, and then 2, 4. So now we're going to plot three of these points. So here we have 0, 2, 1, 3, and 2, 4. And then finally, we can just join these all together and there we have the line of y is equal to x plus 2. So that was only one way of how we can plot a straight line if we have the equation. But there's also other ways and sometimes more easier ways to do this because as you can see, if the straight line gets a little bit more complicated then doing that process can be a little bit tedious. So we're going to have a look at another way that we can represent a line on a xy diagram. So you may have noticed that when we have the straight lines, a lot of them follow the same sort of pattern, where it's y is equal to something x, so a number before the x, and then plus or minus something else at the end. And acknowledging this pattern, we can then say that there is a general equation of a straight line, or an equation that we can apply to any straight line that fits it. And the equation is y is equal to m, so m is just any number that is timesing by x, so mx plus c and c would be any number that is added on to the x value. And because this is called a general equation, that means that every straight line can be written in this form, even the line of y is equal to x, because if we want to write y is equal to x in this form, we can just say that y is equal to an m, because it's just x, m would be one, so it's like one times x is just equal to x, and then plus c, well there's nothing being added on here, so that means that the c would just be equal to 0. And for these two other examples, they can also be written in this form y is equal to mx plus c. So for this one here, y is equal to 3x minus 4, m would just be 3 because that's a number being multiplied by x, and c would be equal to minus 4 because that's what's being added, well, taken away in this case, so we equal c to be minus 4. And in this equation, y is equal to minus 2x plus 5, minus 2 would be equal to m, and c would be equal to 5. And if we have a line in this form of y is equal to mx plus c, it can actually tell us pretty cool things about the line. So the first part of the line of y is equal to mx plus c, the number before the x, or that's being multiplied by the x, 
is called the gradient, or in other words, it represents the slope of the line. And what I mean by the slope, it also almost means like the angle it makes with the x-axis. So we can see that for each of these three lines, they all have a different angle or a different slope with the x-axis, and that means that their gradients are all different. And the way that we visualize the gradient is that if, it's, if the line is less sloped, or if it's nearer the x-axis in that way, then the gradient is less. And if it's a bigger angle or a bigger slope, then that means that the gradient is also bigger. So in these three examples here, we have the red line, which has the smallest gradient, and then the yellow one is bigger than the red, but then the biggest of them all is the green line. So we can say the green line has the largest gradient out of these three. So if we know the gradient is the slope of the line, how do we represent this in a number such as m? And the way that we do this is, m is calculated by dividing the vertical distance between two points by the horizontal distance between two points. So here we have the two points, well the origin, we're using this as a point, so that would just be 0, 0. And then this point up here, 4, 5. And so the vertical distance between this point and that point would just be 5 and the horizontal distance would be 4. So therefore we can say that for this example, m would be equal to 5 over 4, which is equal to 1.25. So just to recap, m in the general equation of y is equal to mx plus c is the gradient or the slope of the line, and we can calculate m by dividing the vertical distance between two points, such as 4 and 5 and 0, 0 for this example, by the horizontal distance between two points. And now we're going to have a look at C in this general equation, and C is what is known as the y-intercept, or in other words, the point in which the line crosses the y-axis. So taking this line as an example, we can see here that it crosses the y-axis when it reaches through the origin, so the point is 0, 0. So if it's passing through the origin at 0, 0, that means that it's crossing the y-axis when it equals 0. So that would just mean that for this line, c would be equal to 0. So let's say now that we have this line here, and it doesn't cross the origin or at the point 0, 0, but now let's say it crosses the y-axis when it's equal to 3. So if that's the case, then we could say that c or the y-intercept would be equal to 3. Or let's say that we move it down here somewhere, and I know it goes over a little bit, but let's say that it crosses here, the y-axis at minus 1. So if that's the case, then we can then say that c or the y-intercept is equal to minus 1, because it crosses the y-axis when y is equal to minus 1. So now we know what m and c is in the general equation of the straight line. Let's have a little example. So this question here asks us, what is the equation of the straight line which passes through the point 0 minus 7 and has a gradient of 4 in the form of y is equal to mx plus c? So in other words, we have to use the information that we've been given and write an equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. So the first thing that I can spot from this equation is that we've been told that it has a gradient of 4, and we now know that m in the equation y is equal to mx plus c is equal to the gradient, and because that's the case, we can just say that m is equal to 4. And we've also been told that the line passes through the point 0, minus 7, so let's draw that on the diagram. So if we have an xy diagram and we want to plot the point 0, minus 7, well it means it's going to be 0 on the x coordinate, so it's going to be down here somewhere, and we can just draw 0, minus 7 within here. Because we know that the line passes through this point, and we can see that this is the line that lies on the y-axis, that means that we can also get c or the y-intercept from this point, because this is the point in which the line crosses the y-axis. And because we know it crosses the y-axis when y is equal to minus 7, we can then say that c or the y-intercept is equal to minus 7. So let's put this together. If we know that m is equal to 4 and c is equal to minus 7, then we can then put these numbers into our general equation and then get the equation of this straight line. So then the equation would equal y is equal to so m is equal to 4, so that would be 4x, and because c is equal to minus 7, then we can just put that in the equation there, and that is the equation for our straight line. 
So that's all we are going to cover in this lesson, but make sure and stay tuned for the next lesson because we're going to cover much more and go into more detail in explaining how we can draw straight lines and explain some of the more concepts so that you can understand this a little bit easier. So let's recap this lesson. In this lesson we learned that we can use equations to represent lines on an xy coordinate system and the type of equations that we can use to do this are called linear equations. So examples of these would be y is equal to x, y is equal to 2x plus 1, or maybe y is equal to minus 3x plus 4. These are all examples of linear equations and equations that can represent straight lines on an xy coordinate system. We now know how to plot straight line equations on an xy diagram, and we do this by first choosing random x values to put into the equation. So in this lesson we use 0, 1 and 2 as example x values. We would then calculate the y values from these values within the equation and then finally we would plot the x y values that we've just calculated onto the, onto the x y diagram and then we can join them together to form the line. And then finally we touched on what is known as the general equation of a straight line which is equal to y is equal to mx plus c. And we now know that m is equal to the gradient also known as the slope of the line and we can calculate this by dividing the vertical distance of two points on that line by the horizontal distance and then finally we also know that c in the general equation is equal to the y-intercept or the point on which the line crosses the y-axis. So I hope this National Form Maths lesson on an intro to lines and plotting lines has been helpful and if that's been the case be sure to like the video and if you have any questions on this video don't forget to drop them down below and in the next video we will be expanding on this general equation and how we can use this properly to plot lines. And if you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to visit our website at penguin-learning.com and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.